today what I'm going to show you what I bought for uh, grocery for this week this year we kind of have a crazy summer fall winter we went from 100 degrees C temperature but not 100 degrees C 100 degree Fahrenheit temperature for um, to uh, freezing temperature in two weeks so we basically skipped the fall I had trouble getting the seedling started and then uh, within that two weeks some seedling started and then they get hit by the, um, the freezing temperature so they all disappeared at this point uh, at my home garden I still have some um, grow uh, vegetable that are growing but they are kind of small in the farm over here um, the most of the vegetable uh, uh, are gone and uh, the only thing that seems to survive the freezing is the um, the um, the beans the flower beans and the, the peas and uh, some green onions so I have to go to the grocery store um, to and to buy my groceries. I'm showing here is basically the grocery I bought for this week. Hopefully by next year this time we will grow most of this food ourselves without uh, go, need to go into the um, need to go to the grocery store. I started over here I have my um, my leafy vegetable and then I have my what I call hot vegetable and then some tofu and uh, uh, um, stuff for soup and over here I have dried fruit, nuts, fruit and some uh, condiment or herbs. Usually the typical meal for us is uh, uh, one main dish and the two side dish um, the plus maybe a soup. The main dish uh, is some protein, could be fish, could be pork, could be beef uh, or could be tofu um, and then uh, this one side dish is from what I call the hard vegetable and then another dish is the leafy greens. When I go to the grocery store I will try to buy seasonal food as well. What I have here is um, the green vegetables. Uh, this is um, your chai and uh, it's basically is some kind of mm, brassicle family um, so that is a cool season vegetable um, this is mustard green and i usually just uh, uh, marinate it slightly and uh, saute it um, and it could uh, cook by itself or it could, could cook with meat like uh, um, pork dices or chicken rices or cook with uh, um, dried tofu and uh, then uh, another bag of leafy vegetable this is the uh, Chinese lettuce uh, satis. Um, in the Asian store sometimes they, sometimes they call it a choy uh, and uh, it's a, a leafy vegetable that is just light, lightly sauteed it uh, tastes uh, kind of like um, lettuce. Over here uh, the what I call the hot vegetable um, so we have the um, peas obviously is in season should be in season now if we don't have crazy weather um, and uh, also uh, and the uh, spaghetti noodles beans uh, or spaghetti spaghetti beans um, this of course grows in summer so it's not in season then I have a small pumpkin here that's the kabucha this basically is a pumpkin but it's very starchy and very flav flavorful here is a fussy squash that you can cook just by itself or make it soup there's another bigger one like a wax melon um, that uh, I have grown the first year and I got like 520 pound um, wax melon that I, I will definitely try it here next year um, and then this bag is the um, the bean sprouts it's a soybean sprout instead of uh, moon bean sprout so you can um, saute it or just uh, make soup out of it I have also 
the uh, this long thing um, that you can use as a weapon. <laughs> this is the Rufa. Um, I really like it. Uh, I have not had uh, luck to grow um, in my garden in the city because um, it's, I believe it needs a lot of sun. If they are uh, old, um, then they get sponges. Um, you can use that for basically washing dishes or, or uh, as a bath sp sponge. It's really very uh, useful um, plants and the vegetable too. Then of course I have the good old uh, tomatoes. Uh, usually we use this to make tomato egg soup. Store-bought tomatoes just taste nothing but I don't have other choices. In Texas summer is too hot. We can only grow kind of like a sherry uh, tomato. It's really challenging to grow like big uh, beefsteak uh, tomatoes. Here are two root vegetable. Again this kind of you can use it uh, as a weapon as well. Uh, that's the gobo and uh, some, uh, some also call it the badok. This is a really good cook with meat or cook with other hard vegetable um, as, a, as a main side dish. Then I have uh, a root vegetable. Um, this, uh, um, is, uh, this is a yaka. Um, and uh, it's it's kind of starch kind of uh, to me it serves the same purpose of as a pumpkin they basically uh, um, give you starch then I have um, a mushroom here uh, this is king oyster mushroom typically every week I would try to uh, eat one mushroom servings um, not serving but a, a portion of it um, so they um, in this case so some mushroom is you can cook with soup and uh, this this actually kind of just like other hard vegetable you can cook and eat as a side dish over here I have uh, three types of tofu um, one is uh, uh, this is the firm tofu and uh, this is a medium firm tofu and you can also buy another one that is soft. Soft is mainly for uh, soup but uh, medium tofu and uh, firm tofu you can um, cook with uh, other things uh, or just cook it by itself. Here is something that maybe you are not very familiar with. This is kind of uh, um, the spicy tofu. This is a really good uh, as a substitute substitute for meat um, so that if you are vegetarian you can uh, cut this as um, either in slices or dices and cook with other vegetables. Over here I have uh, some dried uh, dry dates. That's a uh, jujube date. I actually I, I use this jujube date uh, to brew tea for my lunch and uh, also you can use it for soup. Another dried um, vegetable or produce I got is the um, organic black beans. Uh, so what I'm going to do um, this weekend is cook some bone soup. Bone soup is great for, it's very nutritious for uh, winter. I will basically mix, uh, soak the black beans and the uh, jujube dates and uh, then put, put cook together with the, um, the pork bone. Then I have um, here uh, the peanuts. They are not roasted. Uh, so I basically put it, uh, use a Dutch oven and then use the residual heat of uh, either the oven or the stove to um, slowly roast it over um, a week or two. For fruit, um, I got actually three types of fruits. Um, the Fuji apple, um, the parsimony, and uh, also three Texas oranges. Uh, but somehow uh, the cashier somehow didn't check out those two items, so I only end up with uh, just a Fuji apple. Pessimony actually is in season now, and the, 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 they are selling it in huge craters in the Asian store. To me, uh, winter is uh, for fruit is uh, citrus. Apple is something that I don't particularly like. The reason is when I grown up, I um, 
apple is kind of like an emergency fruit that when all the other fruits are not available, then we will have to eat apple. The last two items I have here are kind of like condiment and uh, uh, or herbs for the uh, for cooking. Uh, one of course is uh, ginger. Um, that I got quite a few of them uh, because I want to put them in a pickle jar also. Um, to get get flavor, another one I have is this uh, uh, salted uh, black bean or fermented black bean. I believe is the byproduct of making soy sauce, um, and uh, it's basically kind of uh, 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 soy sauce. Tastes like soy sauce, but much more powerful flavor. And I use that to add flavor to my dishes quite a lot. I bought a street bass. Um, I want to get a catfish, but uh, they said that they, they don't have smaller ones, and uh, so I didn't get one. So I bought some uh, head-on shrimp, and uh, and uh, also uh, the bone soup, uh, the pork bone for uh, the sirloin bone for the bone soup. Our diet diet is probably about twenty percent protein if you don't count the tofu and uh, uh, 80 percent uh, uh, vegetable and all that. I don't have any um, dairy product. Um, somehow I just not really uh, get used to drinking milk and in summer we will make yogurt out of organic milk and then make ice pop out of that. To get my caution, I usually cook with uh, bone soup or uh, spare ribs, uh, basically meat with bones uh, to, to get to supplement uh, uh, the caution since I don't uh, um, drink milk much. That's uh, basically um, kind of give you a um, idea of what we eat um, in a regular week and uh, hopefully um, we will be able to grow most of this, uh, if not all of them, um, uh, for by the time next year, this time. This morning was pretty chilly, but by noon time the temperature has rise uh, quite a lot with the sun shining, and it's really very comfortable outside. So I decided to have my lunch out in the deck, and that, that actually is perfect because then I can show you what I cooked for lunch today. And this probably took me about 10-20 minutes to cook. Um, I. I'm here by all by myself, uh, Chris is not here, so I only cooked two dishes, one main dish and one side dish. And the main dish is the dried tofu with the king oyster sauce, uh, uh, king oyster mushroom, and uh, I cooked with some um, pickled uh, pepper sauce that we made uh, last year. So that's going to be a spicy dish. And then, the, of course, I have just the green vegetable, the yu cai, um, that uh, lightly sauteed, and you can see it's still pretty green. And then for uh, carbohydrate, I have a bowl of uh, brown rice. So um, that will get me going for and uh, sustain me through the afternoon. So in the evening, I will cook the bone soup. And I might still have some of the um, tofu and those, uh, oyster mushroom left. And then I cook another uh, dish, uh, another leafy vegetable. So I believe that gave me a pretty good balance of, uh, of nutrition for the day. If you like this content, please hit the thumb up button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. If you want to follow our journey with the East by West Farms, please hit the subscribe button.